Hello creatives, welcome back to our listen and share series for the month of July. Today is day 29. Ooh, ooh. And my name is Giselle. I hope you're doing well. If you have not had a chance to go back and listen to the other message, baby, you got 28 days to go back and listen. So you have a wealth of information and encouraging words to move you to the next level of where you want to go as a person, as a creative, as a woman, as a friend, all of that. Okay, so go back and listen. Today's message is stem. It's really, it's like hot, fresh, right? Right out of the oven type of thing (laughs) because it's something that was downloaded to me and it's still kind of settling in right now for myself. It was extended from just doing some inner work as I'm I'm driving. I had like a, a pretty long drive, well, 45 minutes. And so I was just kind of doing this work, internal work and working through okay so if I really want to get to this place of lightening up my my energy clearing those pathways so that I have more space for creativity to flow for spirit to flow for intuition to flow I need to kind of unclog some stuff and so energetically that's really important too and it has a lot to do with even our emotions our feelings and so in this particular situation it was based off of like Is there someone that I am upset with? Um, Is there someone that I need to forgive? Is there something like that, right? And so this individual, (laughs) the situation with this individual came up and, and it was pretty much, I haven't seen them for like two years, maybe three. I was super excited. They were coming into town, reached out to me. Hey, do you wanna go out, like catch up, go out to dinner, get dessert, something like that. And I was like, Yes, I'm excited about it, right? To kind of really um, refresh this relationship. Met up with them and they talked the entire time. <laughs> I mean, I had a little bit of input, but then it was like, yeah, but but it's really like this. And it was it was all about their situation, their opinion, and just kind of their life. And at, at first I was like, yeah, like tell me what's going on with you. Oh, this is really cool. Processing stuff with them, excited about different opportunities they have coming up. But after a while, when you're together for like two hours or more, and most of the conversation is one-sided, like I started to get tired, honestly. I started to get a little sleepy and I was a little like turned off a little bit, like kind of irritated but I didn't realize how irritated I was until later on when I returned home. And I was just like, really? Oh my gosh, like that was most of the evening. And then even now, as I was processing these questions that were presented to me, the fact that it came up again, let me know that there's still some work, even though I started clearing out stuff then, there were still some things there for me to clear out or to at least consider. If stuff is coming to the surface, it's my belief that it's ready to be seen, to be clear, to be addressed, things of that nature. So the whole message for today is talking about not getting mad when you have forfeited your right to take up space. Because in that instance, I'm getting upset because I'm like, listen, we're, we're here together. Like it's two people, let's like, let me talk, ask me some questions too you taking all the space but what spirit began to show me in processing like why was this upsetting to you what did this remind you of were there any other instances that this excuse me reminded you of in your past or with other people and then the question of why do you think you created this type of opportunity for this situation to happen and that really takes some cojones to understand how we can create opportunities for situations, whether it is ones that benefit us initially or and they are positive or ones that don't feel like they benefit us and they're negative, but there's always a lesson if we are able to expand and to seeing what that lesson is. Um, and so in that moment with asking that question, I recognize, okay, I'm upset. I was upset and am willing to release this, but upset because they just took the whole, like all the space, they took all the time. They didn't even ask me any questions and da da da. This reminded me of this other person in my life where I've just seen over the years, they just, in a conversation, they, they come in and it's just like all about them, all about them, all about their day, all about whatever is happening in their world. And they just go on and expound and expound, even if it's the same thing they said yesterday. 
And so that's what I recognize. So when it came to like, why, why do you think you, you created this situation again? I'm just like, oh, I don't know, because I don't like it. And then spirit so lovingly began to show me <laughs> through, through imagery um, about how I myself have created this type of dynamic, whether in thinking that what I have to share is not important enough, is not on the same caliber, I don't have that much to share, or I'm working in secrecy and I don't want nobody to know what's happening because maybe it'll fail, so I don't want to tell nobody. And there is truth that if there's something that you're working on, it's okay, especially if it's in its infancy, it's okay to keep it to a select few. It's okay to shield it, but not out of fear that it won't fail and now I'm gonna be embarrassed. Not out of that, just like just like when, you, when you're pregnant, if you know this or not, many women when they're pregnant in their first trimester, they only tell a small select group of people because this is their time for them to process. This is their time for them to spend with understanding what's going to be happening before they bring everybody and their mama into the situation it can still be a great opportunity but there's just time frames when things are in infancy with how much you exposure you give to it so what i recognized and what spirit showed me was like this field think of like maybe a tennis field right um and so you have this net in between both sides are equal space both sides are equal space and there's this netting in the middle, Com like direct half. That means, applying it to me, I am here and this person is here. We are equal. We have equal space, equal amount of importance, equal amount that we can use how we desire to use. However, you have, and this is what Spirit showed me too, you have two types of people and maybe there's more, but for this example too, one person who is unaware of boundaries and just chooses to push past boundaries so they're pushing past the net like pushing it back taking up more of your space now if i on this end one believe that what i have to share is not that important or it's not of equal value or i don't feel comfortable with setting up boundaries then i'm going to allow this person to push past onto my side of the field and start taking up my space and then get upset the other type of person is the one who, and this really comes down to me or the other person on the end, where I, again, in that mentality, I don't have that much to share. What I have to share is not of equal value. You are so much more important to me, blah, 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 right? Fear, all of that, anxiety, worry, where I take my own, I myself take the net and move it back, limiting and, and shortening diminishing my half. So now I'm more of like one third of the court instead of one half. I have moved that net back and I have willingly given that person more space. I have given them a, hey, take, take half of my space, right? So now not even a third, I'm a fourth of it, right? So you, you go ahead and take up one, two third, what, what is it? Two, what the heck? <laughs> You go ahead, I'm like, struggling no fraction, what the heck? Okay, you go ahead and take up all of this extra space, including half of mine, your half plus my half of mine, and I'm gonna go ahead and take up this little one fourth. And then I get upset because, especially if it's on a routine basis, this person, every time they come into contact with me, know that they are gonna be filling up more space. So they're gonna expound and drag out whatever is happening with them because, oh, I don't have that much to share. She's not gonna share much. And what ends up happening is over time, you are conditioning that person and yourself to believe that you don't have much to share. Either what you have to share is not that important. You don't have much to share. Maybe you're gonna be hiding something, whatever. What they have to say is gonna take up more space. So they're just gonna come in automatically even if you're trying to put that little net back to the middle they're just going to blow past it because that's conditioning you've shown me so many times in the past that you don't really have much to contribute so this is what i'm going to take up so i'm just sitting there like wowzer so spirit is like giselle so what is important for you to do is for you to begin to take up space take up space even if you were just at home and you we're doing house chores all day. Baby, take up your whole half of the court with every little thing that you did. Take up space. 
because that is important because it's a part of your day, a part of your energy, a part of your life force, a part of you. This is your space. If you want to sing for half of it, talk and sing for half of it, then do it. If you want to talk and dance for half of it, then do it. But it is your space. Use it up. Otherwise, you're going to get upset when people either push past it because you don't have boundaries for yourself or are conditioned to believe that you don't have much to share. So I just wanted to leave that with you. Take up space. Don't get upset when you have forfeited your right to take up space in your world, in your relationships, in your conversations, in your home, in your field, in your belief in yourself. When you are out and about, when you are in and hiding, <laughs> wherever you are, take up space because it is yours. Don't get mad if you forfeit your right to take up space because you are equal. You are just as important, just as fabulous, just as wonderful. No matter what seasons you are doing, you are in, no matter what projects you're doing, no matter what things are in progress, what things are completed, it doesn't matter. Take up space. All right. I love you. Until tomorrow. Mwah.